Splatoon is a third-person shooter published by Nintendo and featured on the Wii U, launched May 2015. Splatoon landed itself in the top of the Japanese software sales charts in its launch week. In October 2016, Nintendo revealed the trailer for the new upcoming Nintendo Switch hardware, which featured footage from Splatoon 2. This weekend, we had a chance to play a little bit of Splatoon 2 during the global test fire, which was no doubt a stress test or a, a beta. My son had a chance to play during one of the one-hour windows in which they allowed the world to come together to check out the sequel to their new gaming franchise. New hairstyles, new pants, and new weapons. This game will launch in Q2, Q3 of 2017. We're guessing probably around mid-quarter two. There were only six one-hour play sessions on two maps, but it did give us a chance to grab some footage of this colorful upcoming release. One of the anticipated upcoming features not seen in the gameplay footage is the ability to chain 10 Nintendo Switch systems together for a great multiplayer experience with friends or enemies if you can find 10 Nintendo Switch consoles before the release of this title, which we hope will be a thing before then. The press release mentioned eight players over local wireless connections and 10 players if you have the hardware docked and local network connections, presumably with 10 TVs as well, which would be good for organized tournaments where 10 TVs are probably more possible. For those new to the Splatoon franchise, like ourselves, the goal is to cover the map with more ink than the other team. You'll have a limited amount of time to spread your ink with your weapons around the map while your opponents work to hold you back and paint their own space. Your character has two forms, human form and squid form. While you tend to battle in human form, you can morph into a squid to absorb ink, move at incredible speeds as long as you're in your own color, but you'll want to avoid the other team's ink at all costs, as it slows you down as you walk through it, and you stick out like a sore thumb. Splatoon 2 has some new weapons, including dual wielding, splat duelies, and a new dodge roll maneuver. If you've played the first game in the series, you're probably used to the splat roller and the splat chargers. But if you're like us, it's all new. Motion sensing abilities of your Joy-Cons allow you to refine your shooting through gyroscopic motion. This is also possible in the Pro Controllers. The game's gonna feature your local multiplayer turf war battles, both on the TV and on the go, online battles, and an upcoming smartphone application to enhance matchmaking and allow for voiceover chat. Along with networked support after the title's launched, presumably for new features, feature fixes, and general enhancements, you'll be able to battle your buddies or random online players with either the new Joy-Con or the new Pro Controllers, if you could find them available in stores. Introverted and hating the online community, Nintendo announced Splatoon 2 will have a single-player story campaign much like the original Wii U version had, and from what we've heard, this will be a sequel to the original, not just a relaunch, so presumably story mode will continue the saga. GameStop has Splatoon 2 listed for $59.99 for pre-order with a release date marked as Summer 2017. So if you're into third-person competitive shooters with a less violent flair, Splatoon 2 may be a title worth investing your pennies into. To us, it offers some family-friendly competitive gaming with a neat take on paintball without the added violence, which is very typical for a Nintendo platformer. Stay tuned for more coverage as Summer will be arriving soon.